What is going on guys, Greggles TV. Good luck 2018 has been out for the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus for a few weeks now, and it's just recently come out for the Note 8, S8, S8 Plus, and uh, it'll also come out for the Note 9 eventually. Uh, and it just gives you a different feel for your phone, for instance, when you look at your recent apps, instead of them being vertical, they're horizontal, and you have control that way, and you can I'll do all kinds of cool stuff, and it makes it look differently. But anyways, you can download it, and I already did a video on this, but if you go into the Galaxy App Store, uh, from your app launcher. Uh, you can go in there and type uh, GoodLock2018 in the search bar within there and then download it. And once you have it downloaded and installed, again, watch my video, I'll link it down below if you wanna do all this stuff. But it brings you to this part and you can download all these different add-ons. One of the new add-ons is One Hand Operation, which allows you to do some pretty cool stuff on your phone, such as you can do all kinds of swipe gestures and you can choose what those swipe gestures do. And uh, it puts these little, I don't know if you can see, I'll show you, but it has these little, you can put them on the left and the right or just the left or just the right. I have mine just on the right. You can see that little line that goes down there and allows me to do those gestures. And the way you do the gestures, it's a little bit, little bit awkward, but all you do is once the gesture is either on the left or the right or both sides, uh, you can either do swipe across or swipe up that way or swipe down that way. And then same thing on the other side if you have them set up on both sides. But anyways, once you're in here, I'm gonna open this app up because I've already downloaded it. Uh, once you're in here, you're gonna be able to do some cool stuff. One of those cool things, like I said, is, well, first of all, you gotta turn it on, so make sure you turn it on. And then swipe function, you can see going here first. Um, and you can do horizontal direction, which would be um, straight across to the left or the right, depending upon which side you have it up. And then you have diagonal up, diagonal down, which is, you know, that way or that way. And then you also have long swipes. I don't have long swipes turned on, didn't really feel like I needed it, but horizontal direction, you can see, I have it set to the back key. So whenever I swipe from this side across, it's my back key, no matter what screen that I'm on. Or I could change that to be my home key, my recent key, my, my previous apps, my open, it could open my quick panel, it could do my soft, show my soft keys. And then same thing when you do at diagonal up, you can choose what function it has. And you can have it basically do the same function as, as the other swipes as well if you wanted to, but it's super easy to set up and use. So I'll show you pretty quickly here. So if I have mine, so when I swipe across, it's the back button. So I went back, when I swipe up, it opens up my last app. And if I swipe again, it's gonna go back to that same, you know, it's, it's basically when you double press this recent apps button, where it goes between the two apps, this does the same thing, that same gesture. When I swipe down, it goes home. And again, you can have it set up on both sides. So let's go back into that setting just so you can see there's tons of settings in here. So when you go back to the main screen of the one hand operation, um, I'm back from the swipe function. You can see handler display function. And this is where if you can have it on left side, right side, or left and right. And then vibration level. So you can have it so it vibrates when you do that correct action. So if I swipe down, it's gonna briefly, you know, vibrate the phone, giving you a, like if something good happened, it did it. Uh, next would be transparency. So you can see, I don't know if it's gonna be, it might be a little bit hard to see on the screen, but you can make these bars, you know, completely transparent or really very transparent if you want. Um, let's see if we can make it so you can see it. You might not be able to see it, but regardless, you'll be able to see it. They're like right here. Uh, size is going to be how well, how big they are on the screen. So if you want them to be really thick and they can reach on, um, you know, almost basically right here on the screen, then they can do that. Um, size is going to make it so, uh, or actually position, I should say, position is going to, um, if, you, if you put it down here, it's going to put it all the way down on the screen. Halfway is pretty comfortable. I actually like mine about right there because it puts it about right here on the screen, it's a little bit easier to reach. And then the touch area width, you can make it small or large. And then swipe action distance, you can make it small or large. So you have a lot of customization on it. And this Good Lock 28T thing is freaking cool. So like I said, if you haven't messed around with it, definitely check it out. And you, you just have some cool functionality for it. It's just it, it, like that one hand, hand operation thing. I, like I said, it's pretty cool. And then regardless of, you know, good luck 2018, there's tons of stuff to do in here. So check out my other video. It walks you guys through all of this stuff like log start, quick start, task changer routines. The volume one is really cool. So check all that stuff out. But the newest one that just came out is gestures. And you can see uh, you can change those gestures to a multitude of things if you want and have it work for you. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you down the road. Peace.